Hey YouTube, this is Lewis here for HD Gaming and today's tutorial will teach you how to make a colour correction. Okay, so first off open up your Sony Vegas and import a clip that you want. I'm just going to wait a second. Okay, I'm going to import two clips just to show you which has been colour corrected and which hasn't. If we just wait a second for this to load up. Uh, cancel. Right. I'll drag these both in, well I'll put these both in, just to show you the difference. Okay, so this is the original clip without colour correction. And this is with colour correction. It looks much more effective and is very effective in montages. Okay, so now let's get to the point. Let me just quickly delete this colour correction. Right, so first off, with a colour correction, you're going to want new blue FX. Now I'll put a link in the description for that. And it will be a YouTube video teaching you how to download it. Once you have that, go to Event FX. This is the colour <coughs> correction I made. Sorry about that. So, what you're first going to want to add is soft contrast. You can just add plugins by going to Plugin Chain, and you can just go to FX and Sony Soft Contrast, and you want to add that. Okay. Once you've added a soft contrast. I'm going to put the contrast to 66.53 and um, you just want to copy all of these really, stretch range 17.80 and yeah now this is the part which really like makes the video nice around the corners and this is the blur as you can see there's a slight blur around the edges of this video if I take the blur off it doesn't look that nice so we're going to leave the blur on Put that blur to 3, just type it in here, on each, vertical and horizontal, and it will make a nice blur around. Okay, so now that we've done that blur, we want to go into new green film look. Now, once again, you can add this as a plugin from, of course, the new blue. Okay, so once we have it on new blue film look, we want to go to presets, then black and white, and um, I'm just going to go back. After you've done that, you want to put the tint to 10, the saturation to 75.9, the brightness is 17.9, the contrast to 8.0, the film gamma to 44.9, and leave the diffusion at 0. And of course you're going to want the, ten, the tint to whatever colour you want. I prefer black, I reckon it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so there you go guys. There is a very simple colour correction in Sony Vegas. I, re I recommend using these in montages and other things like that. Sorry about that, it's lagging kind of a bit. If I put this to free preview, auto, maybe it won't lag. Now, you'll notice that a watermark will pop up at the bottom right of your video kind of thing. Now, this doesn't really matter because you're previewing it in Preview Auto. But if you preview it in Best Fall, the watermark will go away. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked that video. Also, render your video as you did. If you don't know how to render a video slash produce it, then watch my rendering tutorial. So, yep, guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you have a nice day.